a very good morning to all of you i am dealing with basics of pfl nav simulator and uh, i am giving greetings from sivsagar uh, which is around 400 km east of guwahati and my place is very much famous for historic monuments greetings to all first of all i declare that i do not have any conflict of interest i have taken written consent from the patient and the parents for videography and photography and i am not propagating any companies at all the four of the peripheral nerve stimulator what we are going to describe in uh, subsequent slides is about the physiology the machine itself the needle and the injected solution now first thing always first this is the resting membrane potential which is around minus 95 millivolt okay now if you apply a stimulus from outside that is the peripheral nerve stimulator they will give a direct current to the nerve and if you apply a stimulus from outside to the nerve it will cause this depolarization and once a threshold level of around minus 55 or 50 reaches there is a constant firing of action potential through this nerve and this constant firing of action potential through this nerve will cause this effective muscle contraction that's we'll get the twitches like this because of this and there should be a stimulus and that stimulus we are giving by a peripheral nerve stimulator now whether this stimulus is a simple stimulus like you have touch and there is action potential no ladies and gentlemen the stimulus should be a strong stimulus but at the same time that strong stimulus should be applied for a sufficient period of time then only it will produces action potential so a stimulus should be a strong at the same time it should be applied for a sufficient time then only it will produces action potential in uh, nerves and that is the basis of peripheral nerve stimulator now what are the end motor responses we are looking for in uh, peripheral nerve stimulator uh, machine guided nerve blocks so if it is the interest clinic we look for the pectoris major deltoid triceps biceps any two contraction this is the end motor response then we deposit the local anesthetics okay and if it is supraclavicular we go for the flexion of the fingers or the wrist and this is the musculoskeletal response flexion at the elbow okay and this is the flexion of the finger for median nerve stimulation and this is the extension of the finger for radial nerve stimulation if it is axillary block you look for the flexion of the fingers or finger movement but if you want for the multi stimulation they can you, you can look for this twitches this is the radial twitches and this is ulnar twitches you will get the a position of the thumb and the little finger you see this is a little boy thumb of egg and the little finger and if you are going for a lumbar plexus the end motor response where we are going to deposit the local anesthetics is the quadriceps twitches this is the quadriceps twitches this is the end motor response for lumbar plexus okay now if it is a femoral we look for the femoral twitch uh, patellar dance then you deposit local anesthetics this is the common perineal dorsiflexion which is not our desired response this is the plantar flexion and we deposit local anesthetic there but not only the peripheral we can go to the central blocks also like the paravertebral block you can use peripheral nerve stimulator and according to the needle insertion we will look for the twitches and twitches will be the abdominal and intercostal muscle twitches these are the twitches we are looking for these are the end motor response at 0.4 milliamps and even if for the abdominal block like inguinal iliohypoglossic block you can use this peripheral nerve stimulator where you will get the twitches of external oblique and internal oblique muscle these are the end motor twitches so you have to know but when you give this block or stimulation of the nerve you are also hitting the sensory nerve is not it the peripheral nerves is a mixed nerves contains both the motor and the sensory nerve but patient is very much comfortable during the stimulation you can see this boy small boy is getting the twitches but he is very much comfortable he is awake not intubated not sedated so what is the reason because the peripheral nerve contains the sensory nerves also 
the reason is you have to know about the Rio base and Tronexy. The Rio base is the minimum amount of the current which is required to stimulate a nerve. Below that nerve, uh, below this uh, voltage, it is not it, it is not possible to stimulate a nerve. That is called the Rio base. But if you apply a current twice of the Rio base for a certain period of time, that is called the chronexis. The chronexis, there is a role of duration. But in the Rio base, there is no role of duration. And this chronexis refers to the excitabilities of the nerve. Now, this motor fiber, it is highly mild in the nerve, and this is easily erosible. See, at the duration of uh, uh, 0.1 millisecond, this is easily stimulated. But the sensory nerve, which requires a larger current, as well as the larger duration of the intensity of the current to stimulate the nerve. That is why when we are stimulating a motor mixed, na mixed peripheral nerve, we are easily able to get the stimulation of the motor nerve, but at that same current, it is very difficult to sen uh, stimulate the sensory nerve, which carries the pain fiber. That is why patient does not feel any pain or discomfort during uh, peripheral nerve stimulation. Now, the ideal nerve stimulator should have the ability to change the settings. It shouldn't be fixed settings. There should be safety alarms. There will be connection. This kind of, if the circuit is complete, then the, the, there should be acoustic as well as the optic view that the machine is working fine. Now, sometimes the circuit is complete, but the needle is not transmitting the electricity. Sometimes it happens, and it should tell you. Uh, the, the, the machine will tell you from the distance, oh my, this, the machine is not working properly, the needle is not working properly, something going wrong, and that, that should be the uh, safety should, should be there in machine. And the current should be monophasic and rectangular, means the current should go from machine to the patient, not from the patient to the machine, and it should be constant current generator, because the machine, the electric cables, the electrodes, the skin, the subconscious tissue, the needle tip, this will all f contributes to a variable impedance. So once you are setting a current of 5 milliamps in a peripheral nerve stimulator, and these, all these tissues, the needles, etc., that will decrease the current strength. So the machine, the ideal nerve stimulator, should not decrease that current. Means if you are setting a current of 5 milliamps, the nerve should be heated at 5 milliamps of current. So every machine nowadays is a constant current generator. So the machine itself, so when you switch on, you will get a zero, zero. It should display. It should display the amplitude. It should display the duration of the current. It should display the frequency of the current. It should display the resistance of the current. It should tell the battery stresses and it should display zero zero once you switch on the nerve and this is the positive end which is attached to the patient and it is always the red color and it can be attached anywhere of the patient in in, in this case my hand hand it is attached to the uh, this is the positive end and this is the negative end which is a black color and it is attached to the needle and it is a negative and for n negative needle positive patient this is the set current and this is the patient current, what the patient will get. Now the circuit is not complete. Here the beep sound is there, as well as the, this uh, color coding is there. And once we complete the circuit, there is a change in the color, as well as the beep sound. Okay, so this I am completing the circuit. So I am attaching this negative end to my hand, and this is the positive end to the uh, pen, and completing this circuit. So that is the, in a nutshell, a peripheral nerve stimulator. Now you should have the ability to change these settings. You should have the ability to change the milliamperes, means the amplitude of the current. You always start for a superficial block at around 1 milliamps, and for deeper blocks you can go about 1.5 to 2 milliamps. Then you should have the ability to increase or decrease the duration of the current. It is the millisecond. For the motor nerves, you start, uh, set the car, uh, machine at 0.1 millisecond. But if the patient has sensory neuropathy, diabetic neuropathy, you can increase the duration of the current up to 0.2 millisecond or 3 millisecond. This is the frequency, means the impulses per second. If it's a 1 hertz, means 1 impulses per second. 2 hertz means 2 impulses per second. 
but ideally we go for two hertz per second there is a two impulses per second and the newer machine they are coming with a sense technique that is a sequential electrical nerve impulse uh, stimulation here what we apply the first one is the 0.1 millisecond current second one is the 0.1 millisecond current and third one is the 0.2 or 0.3 millisecond of the current so the third one will be longer duration current so it will give a path to the anesthesiologist in which direction needle have to go it will give you the idea and once you are in the nearby to the needle the, there will be three contraction tak 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 like the three rhythmic contractions now the we initially we set the current at 1 milliamps and we look for the twitches now we gradually decrease the current and at we look for the twitches at 0.4 milliamps and if we get the twitches at 0.4 milliamps we inject the local anesthetics what is the science the that can be uh, told by this coulomb's law if you rearrange this coulomb's law the that will be uh, the uh, it will be the intensity of the current is directly proportional to the distance of the nerve and the needle it will the square root distance okay this is the current intensities and this is the needle and if it is far away from the nerve and the needle tip it requires larger current to stimulate the nerve but if it is close to the nerve uh, it requires lesser uh, voltage of the current to stimulate the nerve and that is the basis that once you are getting the twitches at 0.4 means your needle is very much close to the nerve but if you are getting the twitches at 0.2 it does indicates your needle may be in the intraneural position so you have to withdraw the needle slightly now what about the stimuplex needle this is the special needle which is having this coated needle it uh, conducts the electricity but this shaft does not conducts the electricity only the tip conducts the electricity and in each 1 cm marking 1 cm apart the markings are there black markings are there and the available needles are 5 cm 10 cm and 2.5 cm and this is the clear transparent injection port or extension port it should be clear enough and transparent because when you inject the local anesthetic and you need aspirate if there is a blood it should be visible to you always and this is the point where the machine is attached now previously the needle was used was not coated you see this 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 whole needle is not coated but this nowadays what we are using a coated needle if you use uncoated needle this all shaft will disperses the electricity and it re requires larger current to stimulate the nerve number 1 and sometimes you pass the needle, um, um, nerve and then only you will get the twitches from this shaft so it will gives an block failure and sometimes the nerve injuries also but nowadays we are using a coated needle where the only the needle tip is uh, uh, giving the uh, electric current and because uh, because of to prevent the nerve injuries and etc we are using blunt 15 degree or 30 degree needle now at 0.4 milliamps you are getting the twitches then you are depositing the local anesthetic once you deposit local anesthetics the twitches disappears and that is called the positive ras test you see there the twitches and once you give moment i give the local anesthetic this twitches disappears this is called positive ras test and this positive ras test it does indicates the need, the needle is in the proper place but thing is that if you inject local anesthetic twitches disappears if you inject normal saline twitches disappears but if you inject dextrose saline not the dextrose uh, the solution the twitches does not disappear previously it was thought because once you inject the local anesthetics or solution it will increase the distance between the needle tip and the nerve and that's why it is very difficult to stimulate the nerve but if so the why there is a twitches does not disappear when you inject the dextrose solution the answer is does the injected solution conduct the electricity or not local anesthesia yes it conducts the electricity normal saline yes it conducts the electricity but dextrose they does not the conduct the electricity okay the once the electricity passes through the la and the normal saline it disperses the normal saline to sodium and chloride ion and it disperses the local anesthetic into uh, positive and negative ion and that will forms a, a ionic curtain between the needle tip and the nerve and that is why it is very difficult to stimulate the nerve so ladies and gentlemen the pns it is an adjunct only you have it is not an substitute to ra anatomy 
it cannot be used if the patient is getting muscle relaxation, skeletal muscle relaxation. It can be used in the central neurological blockhead, beyond peripheral. So you can use in the paravertebral block, you can use in the caudal epidural, you can use whether where is the epidural catheter, whether in the subarachnoid space, whether in the subdural space, or it is somewhere else. But remember, it can be used easily in post If the patient is getting spinal anesthesia, you can still hit your uh, femoral nerve block for post-operative analgesia. So ladies and gentlemen, King Kong with an PNS, always a King Kong. So before bombarding on this peripheral nerve vestibular catheter blocks, you have to know your machine well. Thank you very much.